Hello guys and welcome back to Let's Play Golden Sun with me, Oixfu. And last time we took on Colosso and came out like a champ. Literally, we came out the champion of Colosso. So, um, now that we've won fabulous prizes, Babby wants to see us. So we're gonna go see Babby, you know. Gonna go see Babby. He's probably up here, right? Yeah, there he is. I've been waiting for you and your companions, Isaac. You're not, Babby. Shut up. I've been waiting here because I wanted to speak with you. It's hard to talk when you're so far away. Come over here. What are you, one person? Jeez. <laughs> it's like you guys are finishing each other's thoughts. The battles at Colossal were spectacular. That's a cool music. Kind of foreboding. It was most rewarding to see Babby's favorite warrior steal the day. Yeah, <laughs> steal indeed, because we cheated. Iodem, bring him the victor's prize. Yes, sir, right away. In fact, Mr. Bond, the prize is that I drop you into a bottomless pit. Ha 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 ha. It just sounds like it should be a Bond villain or something. And anyway, we received the lure cat which increases monster rates, I believe. Basically, you will not be able to move without a monster springing on you. Incidentally, Isaac, are you feeling better now? She just keep answering no. Yeah, I'm feeling better. <laughs> ah, the recuperative powers of youth. And after such fierce battles. Who could expect less from the warriors who rescued me? <laughs> I'm gonna go a little Dracula on him, I think. Enough with the flattery, let's get to the point. Why were we summoned? Fool, you are not a jinn, you cannot be summoned. Such insolence! Who do you think you are to speak to Babi so? Well, I think I'm Garrett, come on. They call me the star of the north e or the nor of the northwest. The rising star of of uh the rising star of Vale High School. They call me Red Thunder <laughs> Let it be, Eodem. There are other ways to judge a man. What is it you said you were called? <laughs> no, I'm gonna not do the V, but... I do like the mysterious, like, sort of... Bram Stoker's Dracula accent or something like that. I don't think I could ever do a Bella Lugosi, but still. He's talking to you, Garrett. Well... <laughs> there you go! That's right, Garrett. We shall explain it all. Intended to thank you and your companions for saving Bobby Isaac. Oh? But instead we decided to kill you all now. But it seem, would seem that gratitude is not enough. I have disclosed everything to Iodan. What do you mean by, by everything? You do wish to know about more about Lemuria, correct? Oh my god, that was the perfect choice for a voice for him. Yes, indeed. Your desire is as plain as day. I have just seen I have just seen Synergy for the first time. It is an awesome power. You know what's an awesome power? Your fucking beard. That looks so cool on you. It also looks like you have a blue eye and a black eye, which is also really cool. I used my uh, <laughs> oh jeez. <laughs> Throat's going a bit. I used my cloak ball to show him Synergy. No one else could see it, but I, I knew Isaac's torment was strange. Somehow, they kept cheating without actually cheating. I thought it unlikely that you would fight using such power. Oh, the power! Oh, so much power! No need to be ashamed, Isaac. Synergy is also a warrior's power. <laughs> well, I'm glad you didn't really notice my friends using their power when I first learned of your power. I was shocked. Because you use Ray on me. No, I thought you were might you might be Lemurians. This is really taking a throat toll on my throat. You you have mentioned Lemuria many times, Babby. What is it? It is the city of an ancient people lying far out at sea. Okay, but Garrett's never even seen the sea. Come on, except for that one time. Many years ago, about the time of the Great Flood, Babby went to Lemuria. Uh, I see. 
<laughs> just took the train, you know. The great flood struck while I was traveling with Lunpa. Lunpa? You mean Lunpa the thief? He's, his grandson stole my daddy and my, my step, my adopted daddy. <laughs> I know it is hard to believe. It happened a hundred, a hundred years ago. <laughs> He's kind, he kind of is like a vampire. He uses the draft to like stay alive. I mean, you mean those rumors about you are, are true? Creighton once mentioned the Stone of Sages. Do you think that's what did it? No, because... No, I didn't forget, Garrett. Just just wait. Come on. What do you what do you think? Why do you think we got when we got that draft? So you've even heard of the Stone of Sages. I'm afraid I don't have it. Oh come on, that's like saying in this day and age. Or like in the medi medieval day of age day day of age. Medieval ages. Oh, have you ever heard of the, the Philosopher's Stone? And someone being like, uh, uh no. Who knows what the Philosopher's Stone is? It's basically the same thing. It is the draft of Lemuria that has allowed me to live for so long. See? Knew it. Fucking knew it. But then again, I've played this game before, so... The draft of Lemuria. The draft of Lemuria! The draft of Lemuria! Oh god, it's like an echo in this room. It is a magical draft crafted by Lemurians that... Yeah, and just stops... <laughs> and just drinking stops you from aging. Yeah. I hit a button. I hit an L, unfortunately. Is that what it does? Well, not entirely. After all, you can see that I'm kind of old still. It would be more accurate to say it slows the aging process. Aw, oh, man. I wish... Oh, man. I wish I could do... There is death in Lemuria. After, like, 300 years. I wish I could do a uh, Mel Brooks kind type of, like, the Jewish man accent. Because then I could, uh... I could make, uh, what's his name? Eodem. Be like the Mel Brooks to the Dracula from Dracula Dead and Loving. It would be great. But it only comes to those whose senses have failed from centuries of youth. Youth. Use. Do the people of Lemuria use synergy like we do? Well, yeah. What do you think he mistook us? You have that draught, Bab. Draft, Bab. I keep saying draught because it looks like draught. Damn my English. Why couldn't I have learned French more? That is French, right? The A-U-G-H? No, that isn't that a isn't that a um Isn't that a carryover from uh Middle Middle English? Doesn't it have it its roots in German German that we have the G H B F. G H B F <laughs> Sounds like I'm saying like girl honey best friend or girl house best friend. Your best friend is the girl is your girl's house. <laughs> um, that's why you've lived so long. <laughs> Let's get through this, jeez, and become wealthy enough to rule Toby. <laughs> you've just grown old enough to get rich. What are you getting at? Come on, come on, come on! Anybody can get rich in a hundred years. People live a hundred years. I'm, st I'm starting to wonder myself. What do you hope to gain, Babby? Ah, if I had attained true immortality, there would be no need for all this research. But damn, they destroyed the one Namekian on the planet, and all those Dragon Balls are now shit! <laughs> I had precious little draft, and now I am running out. Also, you know, Lunpa, he stole one of the Dragon Balls and hid it away, but... We don't talk about that. You all saw it. There was but little left in the cave. How long will it last? And what will happen when it runs out? I... It will run out any day now. And when it does, my life is at its end. But why didn't you tell me? Tell us sooner. We must hurry to the Lemuria. Lemuria. Oh, it is pointless. <laughs> oh. oh, what on earth do you mean, pointless? I cannot find Lemuria. But you just said that it lies far out at sea. Plot twist! If we search the seas, we're sure to find it. 
have sent so many ships in the past in search of Lemuria. Th this must have been long before I joined you, but still, you failed. Ah, my throat's getting <laughs> starting to hurt from his voice. Hmm. I, I needed more Lemurian draft. Draft. But I couldn't find Lemuria. Ah, I needed something to drink. I've been rationing it, but this time I waited too long between drinks. You, you were trying to make it last longer. Exactly! I overexerted myself trying to find Lemuria before it ran out. Let's overemphasize his accent. <laughs> and your, your reason for calling us here has, has to do with Lemuria. Exactly! I want you to find Lemuria. I bet you're wondering why I called you out here today. Actually, not really, but... I have not been able to locate Lemuria by sea, but perhaps by air. I have heard they have these newfangled airships in Gondovin. Oh wait, no, that's Final Fantasy games. Never mind, don't listen to me. I can hide it no longer. Th thank God they did not steal airships. Oh my God, I would be so pissed. Well, it might have made the second game more bearable. God, the sailing in the second game is terrible. I built the Bobby Lighthouse to see if I can find Lemuria at sea. What? Well, that's why you're building the lighthouse. No, there's more to it than that. We've spotted something in the ocean southeast of the lighthouse. Where Lemuria should be. Alright, so you, you found it. What, monsters we can handle them? Dangerous? Yeah, whatever. That may be. However, something something else troubles me more. Yeah, what is it? What is it, my lord? No sailor has been able to keep his bearings at sea. Alright, so let's invent a compass. Come on. You're kidding. You mean they can't even keep... Er, <laughs> wow, I went halfway through. You mean you mean they can't even keep a straight course? Straight course. I is there something that distorts distance or direction or something? The currents shift there, subtly changing a ship's direction. Hmm, like a whirlpool? So the lighthouse will help the ships keep their bearings. You know, let's just invent a compass? Could probably do it. So how exactly did you get away from Lemuria after the flood, Bobby? That's the thing, got it. Yeah? I crossed the sea in a Lemurian ship. I am hoping you can sell it. But, but, but why us when you ha have so many powerful soldiers at your disposal? I mean, God, we we're gonna be going to Gondwin and seeing how many powerful soldiers you have oppressing them there. But mm -hmm. none of them have none of them have the ability to use synergy. One must have synergy to sell this ship. Hmm, then that would mean Bobby is an adept, wouldn't it? No, I don't think so. But, Isaac, no normal person can master the cloak ball. I learned to use a little synergy during my stay in Lemuria. Of course, they laughed at me every day in the classroom because I could only barely levitate a pebble, but I still persevered, and now I can hide myself and go into their rooms and draw dicks on their wall. <laughs> no, it must be an adept. W what should we do, Isaac? Will he do what he wants? If you do, I will grant you whatever you wish. Hmm, that's tempting. You shouldn't make vows that you will later find you cannot keep. Way to be immoral, Mia. <laughs> I haven't even considered my own wishes lately. I want that cloak ball. That is a nice cloak ball. In that case, I could provide you with a wealth of items you might like. Bowie's offer is very generous. You will consider going, won't you? Well, yeah, I'll consider it. Jeez. Isaac, we have to beat Felix and the others to the lighthouse. 
We're going to the lighthouse. The lighthouse? Do you mean Venus lighthouse? <gasps> well then, our paths are intertwined. I too must go to Venus lighthouse. Well, oh gosh, are we getting a fifth party member? Jesus. But we cannot get to the top of Link Venus lighthouse, can we? Well, that is why we're building another lighthouse right next to it. Jesus Christ, your damn keep up. These adepts may be able to solve the riddle that blocks us. Ah, I see. The thought hadn't occurred to me. Isaac, you shall go to Venus Lighthouse with Iodam. I thought you were going, Babby. What, what, what the hell? Do not worry. You can take care of your own business first. Well, there we go. I wanna, I wanna be able to sing a BTO song. Come on, take care of business every day. I, I see. If they can solve the riddle of the lighthouse, then our own wishes will have been fulfilled. Exactly! So we can search for Lemuria after they complete their own quest. Is that acceptable? Yeah, I think that sounds pretty good. Ah! You will, un you will undertake this quest. I am most grateful. You'll be dead soon, too, so you'll be grateful dead. <laughs> Play some bad music. And the one I like, the Alabama getaway, getaway. Uh, in any case, you will need my assistance to reach the lighthouse. I'll make preparations so that I am ready to leave at any time. I also like just the faces on the sprites. They look kind of like bomber men. <laughs> like if they didn't weren't all wearing like the bombing suits. That's a brilliant idea. What's happening? One more thing. I'd like you to think about a suitable reward. Yes, I will take care of that immediately as well. Well, you see, I don't know what happens if we don't decide on a reward. But, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to Mabby's room and we're gonna get our own reward. reward. We're gonna pick out our own reward. So. <laughs> Your first task shall be the riddles of Venus Lighthouse. I am counting on you, Isaac. Ha, <laughs> counting. A one, two, three, four adepts. Ah, ha, ha. Oh man, Babby, going to bed rest? I don't know what that's like, I just got out of bed. Sleeping a lot helps to delay the need to drink more draft. If you find the Muria and return with more draft, I won't have to do this. Oh no, I didn't want to. I didn't want to reveal. That's that's really mine. I wish I had met you and your companions sooner, Isaac. But I suppose it was not fated to be. <laughs> Our baby's face is black, pale, like that of a dead man. There's no use worrying, though. There's nothing we can do about it. Something happened to Mr. Ricky and the baby. What will become of Toby? They're thinking about fighting me. Bet to kill all the old people. Anyway, found a cloak bottle. Hi, Isaac. Is that cloak bottle what you desired? Yes, actually. That cloak bottle is very precious to me. I can't just give it away. But perhaps you could borrow it. Take it with you on your quest. Well, we need that cloak bottle, so I will borrow it. Thank you very much. And we will... Oh, wait, wait, wait. R? No, no. Shoot, how do we do this? Anyway, we're going to give it to Ivan. And he's going to equip it. And... Yeah, increases random battles when equipped. I don't think it's that good of a cap. No, it's kind of crap. Weaker than everything we have. But, you know, it's decent enough. Anywho. So we need to meet... Eodem at the passage to Gon to Gondwin. So we'll be doing that in a bit. Alright, just making sure we can't do anything there. Guess we can't, but that's okay. Alright, so uh Well we've got a task a few tasks ahead of us. Um Yeah, we won't be going right to Gondwin. Uh we got a cloak ball. And you see cloak ball. It's pretty useful, because when we stand in... Well, we get a lucky metal, too. Let's use that. 
when we stand in the shadows and use the cloak ball, we become invisible. Like we saw Babby do. Oh, no. Lucky metal. Come on, Dad needs a new pair of shoes. Damn it. Come on, come on, Assassin Blade. Damn it! I got a Grievous Mace. This is a Cursed Mace. Yeah, no, I didn't want to read that. It's a Cursed Mace, but it's pretty good. Unleashes Terra Strike. Uh, I'm trying to remember. What do you have equipped? You have the Angelic Ankh. Uh, which we will not be giving to Ivan, but we will be giving you that Grievous Mace because it's pretty damn good. We can just uncurse you at some time. Oh, you're not? Wait a minute, I thought it was cursed. Huh. Damn, we have not come across a single cursed item yet. I'm so disappointed. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, um, I'll see you guys next time. Uh... Oh, what the cloak ball does is it turns us invisible like we saw with uh, Bobby when we were in shadows. Uh, I don't think we can show it off at all because there's not no, there's no deep enough shadows. Um, I we can show it off in uh, Alt Miller Cave, but we can show it off somewhere else that you might remember it has pretty good shadows in it. Oh, shoot. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh, shoot. We can't go back, can we? I return the cost of your ticket to you. Let's leave it at that. Why should I when all you did was give me what's mine? Isn't the Tor resp group responsible for getting us back to Kaylay? With the road blocked and the ship stuck here, we have no way to get home. Oh crap, I forgot about this. We can't use the cloak ball yet. You brought us all here, take responsibility for it, take responsibility! Must you really resort to violence? Yes! In fact, I'm gonna trounce you, you trouncer bouncer blah blah. I was hired just for this sort of thing. When did he hire you? Just now? You mean, you hired a bodyguard? Yeah, because of rabble rabble customers like you. Jeez. We've asked this nice man to act as a guard for everyone's safety. What are you talking about? I wouldn't go any further than that if I were you. I'll go break your legs. <laughs> Get out of my way. Oh, I love this. Watch, watch. <laughs> Sorry, but I was hired to be in your way. Please, let it go. Let it go, sir. Let it go! Let it go! See? Now just sit down, take a breather, relax. No, you're ridiculous! I know, and after I asked him so nicely. You're wasting time on this. Why don't you find a way to get us home? <sighs> anyway. Oh shoot, I forgot we couldn't get home this way. Jeez! Pretty sure, at least. Let's, let's go here. Let's go here. Uh, we won't sail without the captain's order. God damn it! Oh well. All right, so we'll see you guys next time. Because <sighs> we need to go back to Lunba and use it there, but we can't yet. So I guess we're going to Gondwin. All right. So I'll see you guys next time on Let's Play Golden Sun with Mio Take it easy. <laughs>